A couple subtle changes to the lines and more work on special teams with an emphasis on the penalty kill in the back half of both practices here today as we put a wrap on day number three of Calgary Flames training camp. Hello and welcome back to Calgary Flames training camp powered by TELUS. Brendan Parker alongside as we get you up to date on what happened here on day number three. And as mentioned off the top, there were some subtle changes to the lines. First and foremost in that first group, Sam Bennett moves back over into the middle and that would reunite the line that was so effective and so dynamic in the playoff bubble up in Edmonton in between Milan Lucic and Dylan Dubé. As for the second group, again, subtle changes. Josh Levo and Dominic Simone, two of the newcomers, they uh, trade places. So Levo now with Sean Monaghan and John Gaudreau skating today while Simone moves with Lindholm and Kachuk. But as we know and we're told right from the onset, expect things to change as camp moves along. But maybe these are the lines that we get to see in action, at least our first chance to see game-like situations on Thursday night right here at the Scotiabank Saddledome, the first of two inter-squad games, a 7 o'clock puck drop between Team McGinley and Team McDonald. They know with this shortened camp, preparations and game-like situations like this are integral. You know, I'm going to treat it as a regular home game day, uh, do the somewhat normal things. Um, I mean, uh, normally we go to a restaurant to eat lunch, but won't be able to do that. But in that, I'm going to do the same things I normally do and treat it as a game. You know, when I get there back at the rink, I'm going to do my normal routine to warm up. Time is of essence here with the short training camp and, and no exhibition games. So I think, uh, you know, we got to make the most out of the time that we have together and with the inner squad games. Just, uh, you know, execution and, and get good habits right away. It's, it's easy to, uh, you know, we've been, been all separate or spread out over the world and you're all playing like summer hockey. So get those habits out of the way and then back, get back to, uh, you know, uh, your strength as a player and, and get, get to those good, good, uh, good habits that you have uh, during, during the uh, NHL season. You know, there's a, there's a rhythm that goes around a game day in the National Hockey League and we're going to simulate that rhythm, uh, get our guys used to it again before we actually get the game action. And uh, I know they're, they're looking forward to it, guys. You know, guys are talking about, geez, when was the last time you had an afternoon nap and all that kind of stuff. So they're, uh, you know, they're, they're on task with it. They're looking forward to the day and what it involves tomorrow. And as I said, it'll be, a, it'll be a, a fun day for us tomorrow, but it'll be an important day for us tomorrow as well. Three Calgary Flames prospects playing for gold last night at the World Junior Hockey Championship in Edmonton. And only one will leave with the desired result. That'll be goaltender Dustin Wolf in the United States who defeat Canada 2-0 to win the gold. So Connor Zeri and Jacob Pelche unfortunately will settle for silver. But now all three men can turn their attention to an NHL training camp. They will make their way south and join on-ice sessions here in Calgary during training camp later on this week.